Okay, today we're going to do the transmission fluid in the Dodge Rams. The 545 or 45 RFE transmissions. A, probably the most neglected thing on a vehicle besides the differentials is people not changing the oil enough in the transmissions. Uh, don't forget your transfer case too. Transfer cases use the same fluid as the, the um, transmission. It's, on um, these it's ATF plus four. That's what you want to use. Nothing else, ATF plus four. It's kind of expensive. You can get it at Walmart for about four bucks a quart. So the first thing you want to do is loosen all those bolts. Don't remove them, just loosen. So we've got pan bolts are loose. Nothing's dripping yet because uh, there's some silicone holding it up there. So make sure you have get yourself some cardboard as well as a very large pan because this is a messy job, which is probably why a lot of people don't want to do it. You want to get yourself a small screwdriver or a nylon hammer or a rubber mallet. Just tap on it or get yourself a screwdriver and pop that loose on one end and let it, let it uh, drain into the pan. We'll show that here in just a second. Okay, apparently I put some good sealant on that last time. It took a little bit of time, but take, take a few bolts out and jam a screwdriver in there and pop it open a little bit. Get it to drain. And you can slowly start taking those screws out. They're eight millimeter bolts, by the way. Teeny tiny ones. Okay, so now you can drop the pan. You probably notice it's a bit of a balancing act getting that off of there. Uh, you've got to basically hold that up with one hand while you're undoing one bolt at the very end. And hopefully most of the f fluid is drained out of it and just kind of flip it and drain the rest of the oil out of it. So you want to clean that out really well. Clean off all the gasket material. So it's nice and clean and dry, so you can put new gasket material on that. I used the black RTV, uh, the ultra black in fact. Uh, it works great, never leaks. So we've got two filters here, this one here, and the torque converter filter, which is the screw-on type right here. It usually comes in the same kit, and there's also a um, seal in there that we have to swap when we uh, change that out and I'll show you how to get that out and put a new one in. So here we have the kit for the new filters and the new seal. Take a screwdriver and you can pop out the old one. The seal is going to go in the transmission obviously and it, it goes in with this little nipple and the filter goes in. You can't put the seal on there and shove it in there, it won't work. It'll just rattle around. So be sure you do it the right way. Like I said, take a screwdriver and pop the old one out. And then what I did was go to the hardware aisle and make a little seal installer. And so far it's worked every time. Just drive it in there. You don't have to drive it in very hard, it just taps in. Take a little hammer and pop it right back in there. Okay, the new filters are on. Make sure you put uh, fresh fluid in this spin-on filter just like you would changing your oil. And uh, screw it on there three quarters of a turn once it seats. Make sure you get up all your, uh, still have to get some gas material off of the, off of the uh, surface here. And clean up the pan and then we'll reassemble. Okay, now that the pan is nice and clean, you don't have to go too crazy with this, just make sure it's a uh, pretty level surface. Uh, the RTV is going to create a pretty good gasket. And that's what I use. It'll make a good bead around the holes, around the holes, all the way around. Let it sit for about 
five, ten minutes, and then put it on there and go finger tight, and then you want to torque it down. And I have to look up what the torque spec is, so I'll post that up there. Okay, I've got the silicone on. It's been about five minutes or so. I'm going to put it on, and I'm going to finger tighten it until uh, it just starts to squeeze out a little bit. And I'm going to wait one hour, and then I'm going to torque it to 11.8 newton meters, or 105 inch pounds. Not foot pounds, but inch pounds. And then they, uh, with this ultra black, they say to wait 24 hours before you fill it with fluids. Uh, I have not done that before, um, but wait as long as you can to put fluids back in it. Go. Cool.